Roman Dumovsky was a self-made man. He was born into a noble but penniless family. Nevertheless, he received the best education. He was even given an honorary doctorate at Cambridge University. Dumovsky was an extremely busy man. He hardly ever rested, so such a picture is a rarity. He founded a mass national democracy movement and was particularly admired by the youth. In his eyes, Germany had always been the major threat for Poland. During World War I, he supported the idea of an alliance with Russia, convinced that Triple Entente would prevail. This is why Dumovsky was a reliable partner for France, Great Britain and the US. In 1917, he became the founder and president of the Polish National Committee in Lausanne, recognized by the Triple Entente as the legitimate representative of the Polish nation. In the same year, he inspired the creation of the Polish army in France. It was equipped with 98 planes and 120 tanks, which later on proved a great legacy for the army of the independent Polish state. In Versailles, hand in hand with Ignacy Paderewski, Dumowski fought for the western borders of Poland, which were established on the basis of ethnic criteria. For five hours and in three languages, Dumowski presented to the politicians from the winning powers sound historical arguments supporting the Polish cause. It must have given them quite a headache. But he didn't want Poland to spread too far east. He wanted Poles to constitute a majority in the newly created state. And such a state was born, although it was smaller than Dumowski wished. Dumowski himself was not successful as a politician in free Poland, but the country that emerged was as if designed by him.